there we go. So this is King of the Hill, map number one. We have playing as the green, we have Grendelbees playing with Delhi Sultanate. Uh, love this gold here, very close to the wood line. Of course, a lot of wood around the, around the outside of the map here. Not a huge fan of the stone, and not a huge fan of this gold being on the same side. The other gold. Feels like if uh, Sam can uh, can set himself up here, Randleby just has no gold. Yeah, but Sam playing in the red, playing as the English. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, pretty much like this, you know. One gold here, one gold here. Stone is also pretty good. Two completely uh, different sieves that. Uh, that play relatively similar. Uh, both love uh, getting their feudal numbers up. But they're both flexible enough where they can play in a different way. Delhi, Delhi has been uh, reworked a little bit for the season. and uh, well, As players are starting to figure them out a little bit more, they actually like playing them in castle a lot more. Absolutely find fascinating. So let's see the scouting of both players. Rental Beast on one scout. I'm going for the center now? Should go for the center immediately. There are so many sheep here. Let's look at Sam. Maybe Sam. Oh, Sam isn't in the center yet. It's delivered about eight sheep because he went here. He got all of these sheep. This is like four, five, six sheep here. Going on the outside edge now, so. Yeah, but Brentle Beast also not really. Yeah, I guess they both scouted their half, uh, their half of the center. Okay, so Rental with three on gold for the time being. Um, let's swap that to number of workers. Getting all, all of your tax, always important. It's getting efficient production. It's not even getting piety. Right now, I think he has time for piety. Before he needs to get sanctity. Sanctity is extremely important. Sanctity on this map is actually scuffed. <laughs> so good. But Sam is English. If English, just a small diversion. For um, for two v two, I theorize a little bit with Sir Nevels. I theorize a little bit. This was back in season one and season two. That you could get the Abbey of Kings, uh, on like the other side. Imagine we spawn on the north, right? We could get the Abbey of Kings in the middle on this side, and we could take huge fights here and always keep on winning. But the problem was that we never really had the, the army, because the Abbey of Kings also healed uh, your allies' units. So that was pretty good. And like with the Chinese, it was powerful, but um, we were very susceptible to raids. So, but like, just the healing was never good enough. Um, it always felt underwhelming. It was not a good landmark. Now I think it, with the king it's a little bit better. But I, I still think that if you want to do a landmark that heals, it's got to be mobile. You really want that healing to be where the fighting is. Or at least where you're like getting your unit after fights. So we're getting a Dome of the Faith. Yeah, producing scholars cheaply is always a good thing. Not going to the Tower of Victory though. Tower, I, I like the Tower of Victory, but I, I really think the Dome of the Faith... Um, it's also very important. It depends really on your strategy. Okay, going to the council hall. Ooh, Rental Beast losing the scout. These villagers are like. Their type of attack is actually so good. They don't have attack speed. Gives them a bit of a weapon to fight with. Makes uh, our rushing strategies in particular very ineffective. Because you really run the risk of losing your workers. So, wheelbarrow was about a minute from trickling in. And this takes so long. 
the attacks do take so long, but that's one thing that I found I find fascinating about Delhi and their strategies. You really want to fight right after you get the attacks. That's going to be your timing, which makes them very, very dependent on, uh, like on tempo and the player's ability to pick fights. If you cannot pick your fights, if you have your opponent picking your fights for you, it can be very dangerous. Sam with the, with two farms here, not getting a lot of wood, getting tons of food and getting a good amount of gold. I smell a fast castle. He almost has a gold for it. He might get attack. Oh, Sam needs a wheelbarrow. Ooh, stable in range right away, love it. Immediately queuing two. Queuing two scholars. Oh, not getting sanctity, come on! <laughs> come on, get your attacks! It's actually really hard to remember like all of the attacks you have to get. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're rental beasts, like at least one blacksmith is important. A third farm for, for Sam, if you're not being aggressive right away, build five farms in Dark Age. I think it's a um, much better build. You sacrifice uh, timing on your um, on your, um, on your, on your longbowman, but uh, your economy is so much faster. Ooh, survival techniques is about to come through. Survival techniques, oh, it will be great here. And this is walled. Fairly safe. There's a scout there for, for vision. What's this wall? Just to prevent raids. <laughs> Just to prevent raids. Ooh, already three horsies. Four horsies and a scholar. The scholar going to the range. We have a scholar. How did that say range? Uh, scholar on the stable. Only one scholar on the mosque. Uh, Okay, he's getting the tag. Uh, oh, White Tower! Defending! Oh, I guess getting it in the middle is dangerous. Oh, but getting it in the middle would have prevented Rental Beast from, um, from getting that Sacred Sight in Feudal Age. Fighting with Feudal Age units. Which is such a boost for, for Delhi. Ooh, just a minute. Just a minute. Ah, uh, there he goes to these berries and also to the hunt here, I guess. You have the hunting tech. I can totally do this. Okay, only two archers. Uh, yeah, I guess it's time to move in. You're not gonna... Rental Beast is not gonna get any attack... Any... Attacking done, but uh, for the map, I guess it's pretty good. Okay, Sam getting blacksmith barracks. Gonna go with the upgraded man at arms here. You could go with upgraded spearmen, but that's dangerous because a simple attack into archers really, really destroys your game plan. Looking at that tank here, this is range and melee armor. Armor clad for the English. These are pretty good man at arms. So with all of the attacks uh, done. Damn, is almost. Uh, almost good enough to get these stacks here. But yeah, I think, considering the army that the Rental Beast has, getting melee armor. Or even ranged attack. Would be important. We don't have any longbowmen. We have spearmen. Two spearmen are out for Sam. Sam is way behind in terms of, uh, of army count. Uh, 
Oh, it's producing knights. I uh, like it. Producing knights from his uh, white tower. Well, they produced a single knight. I think the knight wins uh, wins this fight on his own. But still, not a fight you wanna you really wanna take because the rest of the army comes in. And... Yeah, rental be swings for sure. Yeah, time to get the spears to the other side. Still, this is so much army for rental bees here. Bring a forward outpost. Ooh, getting that palisade gate up. Is the palisade gate gonna actually go up? Ooh, a bit of wall is burning up. Oh no! Just the one hit, and the villager couldn't. Ah, that's that's rough. That is rough. Yeah, a bit of army assembling in the center of the map here. Nice towers for vision. I pretty much love these. Okay, all of the attacks are on. Here's a scholar going to the middle of the map. And Rental Beast wants to preserve all of these units. Have them healed. Have them healed. The healing is so good. As like a general concept. With the compound of the defender, love this, love this. Getting there's getting some um, stone stuff. <laughs> stone walls, um, yeah, they can be very powerful. Take your sight captured for rental beasts. Not very early, but it's. But any other civilization would have done that like two minutes later. <laughs> it's just not nothing. It's not nothing. So, still plenty of time here. Oh, there we go. A fight is getting forced here. The scholar could, could die. The scholar is getting garrisoned. No, the scholar's healing. Oh, and the healing is so good. Spears and knights against spears and horsemen. <laughs> uh, very. <laughs> There are archers here. Archers are important in this, uh, in this fight here. There are some longbowmen for Sam. Sam. Sam, okay. Sam is wheelbarrow only. The problem is that Rental Beast has every single tech ever for free. And Rental Beast, please, with 500 wood, get a, at least one blacksmith. But Rental Beast is getting a ton of stone for the second. Uh, on quotation marks, TC. <laughs> oh, the army's facing the other way. Yeah, that villager is uh, is gone. The rest of the army needs to fight too. The longbowmen are pretty good. They're fighting uphill. Oh, the wolf has escaped. That must have been uh, vomit inducing. Okay, so let's see rental what he's producing. Producing nothing. Got some dumbbells at least. Outpost is going down. There are archers here. Oh, you gotta get that. Ooh, Rental, Rental fleeing with his army is not uh, doubling down on defense. These numbers are a bit of a lie here. It's not 21 to 30, it's like 21 to like 22 or 23 because the scholars that are garrisoned count. The scholars that are collecting relics count. Those, those are army, I guess. But the garrisoned ones really are not. Okay, there we go. With a beautiful outpost in the center for Sam. This outpost will grant him the network of castles. Rental Beast is gonna have to defend this position here, and Rental Beast almost has enough stone for another one. For another keep. Oh, start getting village fortresses at least. Oh, 
So the game is a little bit stopped here at this point. And... Okay, Sam finally getting his upgrades. Um, it's tough to keep up with Delhi on the upgrades front. Like they're about to kick in. Do I not see a blacksmith? There we go, they're all veteran units now. Doing boiling oil from the keep itself. Well, the compound of the defender is just sitting idle here. Oh no! The knights in for a raid! But there's the keep on the other side here. The, 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 the keep's pretty good. Uh, if, uh, if Rental can lure the army. Oh. So both players on a bit of a standstill. The keep will be attacking this tower, which is quite fascinating to me, actually. Okay, more stone for Rental Beast. That's pretty good. So, despite all of the game that we've been seeing here, only three villager difference uh, for Sam. That's if you're Rental Beast, that is pretty good. Oh, here's the Tower Dumbo. So the South Post is gonna slowly get it. Ooh, five minutes for Village Fortresses. Ah, going for a raid. Too late, though. This is a large army though for for them. Ooh, this keep here is in trouble. There's a trap. If these towers are, don't have any emplacements on them, I I do think rental beasts can uh, can try something. On one hand, yeah. On the other hand, it's um, they're, they're, the network of castles going. Still not network of citadels. Keep is half HP, down to half HP. What's the army doing here? Crossbowmen are gonna do a good job. Oh, and there's a forward keep from Sam. This forward keep will change everything. Because as of right now, Rental Beast kind of has the, 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 the bit of a positional lead here because of the two keeps. He can, um, can attack under them. Oh, he really can't let. Uh, that keep go up. Here's the army though for Sam. That keep will still take a long time to complete and the keep is attacking knights. All oh, the knights are getting hit. This keep will not survive much longer. Not with the trebuchet attacking it. And it is down, I think. Ooh. Oh, that was so unfortunate. But Red Beast can build another one. Ah, uh, the, the trap is in attack ground, so... Yeah, so don't, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, is this keep gonna go up? The armies from both guys are standing tall here. Oh, if this keep goes up, it changes everything! The villagers are slowly dying! Oh, the keep's gonna go up! The keep is gonna go up! Oh! Not the four villagers on the keep! And this keep going up changes everything! It's just everything. Rental Beast now forced to retreat. Rental Beast getting more and more stone. Oh, getting that boiling oil. Village Fortress is still ha is halfway through. Like, you can complete it here. Beautiful relics here for Rental Beast, but... Um, he may be unaware of... What a Civ has to offer. Here's the other keep going down. I'm in the tech crown dealing 500 damage. Here's the siege workshop. Double siege workshop, kind of creating a choke point. Uh, which he might use uh, if he gets attacked. Rental Beast leading in the army number count. 
We need to play this a bit safe. Like this is much army, but if he fights into the keep, he loses. Not with uh, maybe 20, 22, 23 army. Those are a lot of scholars, though. And once you get your castle edge upgrades, I think it's kind of worthless to keep your scholars in the mosques. Rental Beast needs to make his move fairly soon. Oh, this keeps gonna go down. What a disaster. What a disaster. Sam, though, is playing it cool. I'm kind of upset Sam isn't uh, getting any monks uh, to the center of the map. Putting the pressure of getting the sacred site would have been so huge. Okay, the horsemen. The horsemen are scouting here. Finally, there's a monk. Now, okay, rental beast is repairing. I, I do appreciate that. It's great finally spending some of that stone. This keeps getting village fortresses. Hmm. No production here. Oh, we're gonna get the Ram Ranch! <laughs> Ram Ranch and greased axles. Ah, oh, there's a. Uh, there's Sprinkles. And I do think Sam is about to move through. Rental Beast has 10 minutes to neutralize that sacred site. In the meantime, a small trickle of gold going for Sam. Sam is floating uh, almost 2,000 gold. He needs to start spending it. Oh, what's this double wall here? The stone wall. Oh, he's repairing the trebuchet. Well done, well done. So Sam with a bit of a grip on the game. Doesn't have that much army. But this is a lie because of the Garrison Scholars, as uh, we've discussed already so far. No Garrison Scholars on the Siege Workshops. They are taking a while to build stuff. Holding oil finally completed. So the rams, I, I, I really like rams, but um, I don't use the rams really to throw down, take down buildings. It's uh, for the threat of taking them down. Like forces my opponent to, to act, and I think that's uh, the biggest asset. I love Network of Citadels. This is such a major upgrade. And again, we got a Treb War. Yeah, but um, Sam, I feel, is taking the larger target out. Here are the Rams. Not really Ram Ranch, but it's, it's uh, relatively similar. Oh no! He's sending the Rams without the army! Well, that, that's 500 wood wasted. Army's out here in the back. What's uh, what's Rental looking at? Okay, there we go. There we go. Now the keep uh, and start getting attacked. Network of Citadels has been researched. Oh, the repair here would be great. I don't think Rental Beast appreciates the size of his army. He, he can throw his army at his opponent and win the fight. He, uh, well, the knights change everything. Being produced by the White Tower. And will be produced by the Keep. I 
And so too much army in the way here for the Springle to really be effective. And these two Springles, I'll take at least one of them down. Mm. Randall Beast has to fight! And both, both guys repairing their respective keeps. Oh, look at that! Such a fast attack! Those longbowmen are insane! All the knights here with a bit of a maneuver. The risky maneuver, though. Yeah. Trying to get the, the villagers or the trebuchets. Yeah, getting the trebuchets, but... Uh, well, they won't, They might win the fight because Rental Beast was forced to start walking with his units. And uh, yeah, the longbowmen aren't just... They're relentless. Rental Beast needs to take care of the knights to keep building the... Keep building the keep. This keep here would be would be quite important. Six minutes to go. Who's garrisoned here? Uh, why can't we tell who's garrisoned? I think these are units and like horsemen or something. Oh, you need to get the tower dumbbells in the fight. Oh no! This keep is not gonna hold it! Okay, he's gonna hold for at least one more shot. Here are Springles trying to take out the trap. Yeah, the keep goes down. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That trebuchet is gonna be attacking the keep. Like, where's Rental Beast looking at? He's keeping his army too sti uh, too immobile here. Just still, just stop, stopped here. He's not even leading in army numbers now. He's letting Sam play his game. Using the rams as a distraction, I quite like that actually. So many longbows, so many longbows. Men at arms, these are crossbowmen. Men at arms here, like, they're not upgraded! So you went telly, rental beast went telly for the faster sacred site. It's not really working out, is it? This is a major fight. This is the. Ah, the, the English keeps are excellent. Oh, the keep may be about to go down. A little bit too little, too late. The, the keep already won the fight, but fighting under the defensive keep of the Rental Beast. Pretty good. Rental Beast needs to keep this keep alive, though. It's repairing with a couple of villagers. Both keeps are on fire! <laughs> Ooh, Springles are going to the front to defend. defend not to attack the counterweight trap. Finally, a couple of mangies. Oh, but uh, Sam realizes it. Yeah, this keep is get about to go down. Oh, and Sam sending the units to stand in front of the trebuchet. This keep. Oh, it's gonna survive one more shot. Gonna survive one more shot. This is not enough to keep it alive. Whereas the English keep is that much stronger. Well, I lied. So it's gonna survive another hit. Is it actually healing? I think Rental Beast might be actually healing it. Um, Sam needs another trap. No, he's not healing it. It's losing like 30 health. Uh, in each cycle. Like, Rattlebeast has 5,000 food! What's going on? 
on the armies moving forward, I don't think Sam realizes that he can actually do that. Ooh, two minutes until Sacred Victory. Sam doesn't want to risk anything, which, uh, like, I respect that. Oh, this keep almost healed. The other keep just built. Yeah, keep is dead. Keep still on the tech ground. Very good. Very nice. Going with the Palace of the Sultan, there we go! The Elite Tower Dumbos! Let's see, this rental. Rental now has a couple of smiths. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. In the range of everything? Ah, oh, they're not in the range, are they? Ah. Okay, there's... It's getting to... This push needs to work. And I really don't think it will. <laughs> Not under two keeps with... Um, Network of Citadels. Oh, I'm like, this is just too much. I go the first two minute arms. Uh, just probing. Seeing what's up. Is that attack round gonna snipe anything? Oh, please snipe a Mangy. Uh, oh, they f they they missed. Ah, uh, just too much army for Sam, and the network of citadels is insane. The Manganels, what a shot, though! What a shot! The Manganels did their jobs. Like everything is just destroying the army of Rental Beast. Rental Beast is no army now. But at least. Um, the keeps fell down. One of the keeps fell down. Rental Beast is no army. No army whatsoever. Time was staying still because of the ram. I'm sending scholars over. They're still a keep alive. Oh, this. This ear smells like. Uh, it's the end of the game. Rental Beast did everything he could in this last push. And now Sam's just attacking, realizing Rental Beast is nothing. And just go. Well, I, Rental Beast took down a keep, it's just more than I thought it was going to be able to. And that's a win for Sam. Sam won nothing in the series.